Hey guys, this is Heretic and it's Wednesday, September 8th, 2021. And update 11.8 came out last night. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about why this update is a huge game changer. So let's start off by going over each of the items in this new update at a high level. And I could read this to you, but I'm not. Let's go ahead and start off at the lamp light, the lamp of hope event. All right, so in this event, and we've seen similar events like this in the past, um, the main thing to consider here, it's pretty easy. You get free ones every day um, and they give you points and you use these points to get items, you know, free stuff, you know, as you go through the event. Let's see how long this event lasts. Quick, it's gonna last for six days. So let's set them free. I haven't really tried to get all of this yet. I have a few of them. I can probably, yeah, I can get more of these. Not a big deal. Pretty easy. A lot of the kind of honor pass type stuff you can do. All right, and then you can set them free. Get a hundred per. Yeah, sometimes you hit a crit. I got double that time. All right, so 700 the first day. Let's see if I do that for six days, 4,200, which get would get me through the third row. So let's hope I do a little bit better. Let's see, there's two, three, four, five, five more I can get. That would get me to 1,200 approximately per day. 12 times six, that would get me up to the 7,000. So I would be getting really close to, you know, it would be at the 12,000 that you'd actually start getting stuff that you might actually want. You get some Ursine, you get some Frost Arcana, you get a nice little March and some ingots, you get some blood, actually need some of this and um, you get hero fragments, which is what everybody will want, but that's that's a lot. Of course, you can buy these. Yeah, five for a dollar. Five for a dollar. All right, so that's the Lamp of Hope event. All right, so let's move on. There's also a new Mythical Summons event, which you've seen these in the past where you can get these as rewards, although I don't see it right now as a reward anywhere help me out guys if you do see it somewhere and if you go through you have a chance of winning fragments of the new heroes and or and or items once you get 50 spins on this you get a guaranteed hero so that's a mythical summon event that's in the 11.8 update all right so the next thing is portal changes so I know a lot of people were very unhappy with the rewards that you would get in the portal and they've been updated and they've done away with the individual rewards that you get in the past for placing like the most damage. And instead of doing that, they came up with a thing that I really like and it's basically the more, more people who actually participate in the portal, the bigger reward the whole alliance will get. So... The more people who play, the better the pay. A couple other changes with the portal real quick. They've made it a little bit easier for some of the harder bosses towards the end. And they've also made it where you can finally, finally over donate. So what you'd have, what would happen in the past is you'd have everybody do donating too much of their, their portal dust. And then some people would be left out and they couldn't be on for when you were actually going to do the portal. So they would miss out completely on the rewards. Now everybody can go ahead and continuously donate over the 900. So that's a good thing so that everybody can actually participate in this. So another couple things. The Alliance Store now includes Mordred. You can get per day. You can also get uh, Mordred and Katergan on the Master Summoning Circle. So you can finally use up all of these that you've stored. So if you go here, you can see Matic and Katergan here. So if you haven't maxed them out, now's a good time to, to do that. 
All right, so for some easy stats, if you've been saving, which you should be. All right, another thing is in Firelands, Kingdom Tourney, and in the Alliance Hunt events, uh, summoning horns have been completely replaced, also in the arena, I, I missed that, with draconic experience stones. So instead of summoning heroes as a reward, you can actually rank up some of your draconic stones. That's cool. So now we get to the actual game changing element of the 11.8 update. And that of course is the introduction of two new heroes, which you can see down here that I do not have yet. Kiara and King Lot. They come with incredible stats. They will replace your Dendrain and your Brutus. They have incredible stats here. You know, 2,000, you're going to go up by, on your regular stats, you're going to go up by 1,500 max. And on your troop stats, you go up by about 350, 400. Incre it's just incredible as far as um, a stat increase here. Um, but even more important than the actual stats are the skills. So the skills, you will go up um, Bowman Attack by 3,500, Bowman Health by 3,000. And you can lower the Cav Attack of your enemy by 2,500. The reason that this is a, such a big game-changing element added to in this release is because... You know, previous to Mordred and Guinevere, the um, the march that we had before them was your Dendrain and your Brutus, and they were it was more of a balanced march. So it was heavy infantry, heavy bow, and medium to small amounts of cavalry. With Mordred and Guinevere. The PvP march completely threw out your bowmen. There was no reason to have any bowmen in your march at all. It didn't matter your rallies, your arena, any kind of solo one-on-one -on -one PvP. Everything, you know, all of your bow was completely thrown out like siege, basically. Well, with this update, the the skills are such that now they will be the new heroes will be the PvP March heroes that go out in any kind of PvP that you're doing. And I would say that right now, early on, that the March that you were using before with Dendrain and Brutus would be what you're going to be using with your Kiara and King Lot. But before we go too far into that, I'm going to go ahead and go over and I have uh, 23 chests I'm going to open and let's see if Heretic finally gets lucky. No. Rare Immortal Gem. I don't consider that to be lucky. I'm going to go through here. I have 19 more I can do. Let's see how it goes. Nope, another rare immortal jewel. Another rare immortal stone. A rare sanguine gem. Another one. Come on, give me a hero. Catterkin. Looks like I'm going to be unlucky again. All right. So as usual, Heretic did not get lucky, but did you? If you did, leave a comment below the video and let me know. With KVK coming in just a few days, 
it'll be really interesting to see if my theory as far as what heroes are going to be used comes to fruition. I am going to guess yes. So what do you think? Are we going to stick with the Mordred Guinevere setup that we currently have for PvP? With heavy cav, heavy infantry, and no bow? Or are we going to go to the new heroes and go back to the previous march that we had with heavy bow and infantry and light cav? Let me know in the comments below. And I hope that you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, make sure you click subscribe. Take care. Dollars coming, let me see it. Multi-million, I'm a bit. On a mission, best believe it. Ask for it, you receive it.